Hey guys, this is Vincent here from KD Trainer and today we're going to talk about the difference between fat loss and weight loss. A very, very simple analogy would be you can see these two person here. They may have the same height and also the same weight but they look physically completely different. They may also have a different metabolism rate. So the people that are much more fitter inside here, he may actually burn more fat compared to another guy over here. So instead of just looking at the weight scale itself to track on the progress and so on, we're going to talk about what is a better way for you to track it. All right? So let's move on to the details on what's the difference between weight loss and fat loss. All right. So losing weight itself and it's not necessarily just on fat itself. You may even lose your muscles in the progress or you may even lose just pure water. And lastly, it may even be your bone mass if you're elderly or someone which is older. Alright, so how weight loss happens? Weight loss happens when you're focusing way too much on the diet itself, which is mean you may be doing some crash dieting, you're just eating less, or you don't eat rice during the night time, or you don't eat supper or even dinner. You're crash dieting in a way. And also, you're focusing way too much on just cardio itself, which is mean you're choosing the wrong exercise to help you on your weight loss. So what that happens is, by the time pass, you may start, you may start losing weight. But of course, at the same time, you may be losing muscles as well. So what happens when your muscles start getting lesser and lesser in your body, your, men, your metabolism rate is going to be dropped. So muscles, especially lean muscles, is going to help you to burn a lot of fats. As an example, 1 kg of uh, lean muscle mass will actually help you to burn 100 calories in a day. So you can actually see a very, very big difference on this. So in short, if you're just focusing on uh, way too much on the weight scale itself, what happens is you may hit plateau faster or you may even hit the wall faster compared to the people that are actually trying to build muscles because the metabolic rate is going to be dropping so what happens is you may even experience this by the end of your diet or by the end of certain month you may start to lose weight but you, you, you're going to start to notice that the amount of weight that you can consume is lesser than weight before so this is the difference between losing weight and also losing fat alright so next we're going to talk about how fat loss actually happens, all right? So fat loss actually happens when you actually do things right on two of this, which is mean exercise right and also eat right. So starting by eating right, which is mean you have to consume sufficient amount of protein. So how much you should be taking for an example? So you should be consuming around 1.5 gram per kilogram body weight. So that's a very, very good start for you to do it. All right, so next thing we're gonna talk about how to exercise right. So exercise right, which is mean you're no longer have to constrain yourself just on the cardio machine which is such as a treadmill or even a cycle machine you just start moving towards the weight training side you can start by just with your body weight and you slowly progress from that as long as you start working on something on resistance itself your muscles is, is going to be grow alright so what happens on the fat loss itself is your weight is not going to be dropped that fast compared to just purely weight loss it's because of the muscle mass that you may gain in the progress Right? But again, don't be worried on that. Gaining muscles will actually help you to burn more fat. In short, your metabolism will actually increase. So as a total contrast to weight loss, your metabolism is going to be dropped and your maintenance calories is going to be dropped. But when you're getting more muscles, your maintenance calories is going to be increased. So let's sum this up as a whole picture is, if you want to be looking good, feel good, and you want to be toned, and you want to have a very, very good lean and straight body, you should be looking for fat loss instead of weight loss. Alright, so let's conclude our topics today and I'll be seeing you in the next video and have a great day ahead.